Hello everyone, in today's video, I'm going to review the Escoda Altimo and the Escoda Aquero watercolor mop brushes. These brushes are made in Spain by the company Escoda, which is very well known for making art brushes. The two brushes that I have here, they belong to the signature series. You can also choose to buy the brushes without the signatures. The key difference between these two brushes is the Escoda Aquario, it uses real squirrel hair whereas the Escoda Altimo, it uses synthetic squirrel hair and just by looking at the hair, it's very difficult for me to tell which one is real and which one is synthetic These two brushes use the same brush size system They are the same length and these are short handle wooden brushes The furrow is quite short now these two are size 14 and this is size 10 size 10 is good for paper sizes 9 by 12 inches and below 14 is good for paper that's much larger than 9 by 12 these two brushes are mop brushes so they are designed to hold a lot of water they are meant for painting large areas when wet it seems like the aquarium the one at the top it's able to hold a much sharper point and for the Ultimo it seems like it has more hair so it can probably hold more water Alright, let's see how much water a real squirrel brush can hold So this is the Escoda Aquario The hair, it's not able to return to its shape because squirrel hair is very soft So with this brush, if you want to create thin lines you can actually do so, but it's going to be challenging The paper that I'm using, this is A4 size so it seems like it's almost able to basically cover the whole thing maybe about maybe you can cover about three quarters and now for the synthetic squirrel hair this brush can hold a lot of water as well but when it comes to drawing thin lines this is very difficult I feel like the hair is a bit stiffer compared to the real squirrel hair but it's not able to return to its shape as well So this brush can hold slightly more water compared to the real squirrel hair Main reason is because the synthetic it does have a bit more hair and you can see both brushes, they are not able to return to their shape Regardless of real squirrel or synthetic squirrel hair, both brushes, they can hold a lot of water The real squirrel hair does have the slight edge because it's able to produce a thinner line more easily For the pricing, you have to find that out yourself because the prices, they can vary by quite a bit depending on the brush size, where you buy from and who you buy from so I'm just going to leave you with some links in the video description below for you to compare prices Personally for me, I would probably go for the cheaper brush which is probably the synthetic brush By the way, if you guys happen to be using either one of these brushes I would love to hear from you Let me know what you think about them Alright, I hope this video is helpful See you guys in the next one Bye!